all right so here we got the reactor here this is a very very um mixed batch here we got all types of plastic we got some even some like paper in there we got paper plastic cups plastic spoons plastic forks plastic tops so there's um oh plastic bags like this as well there's some pieces of a plastic bag like ziploc bags in here we got all types of stuff some cardboard packaging with plastic bubble wrap um we got polypropylene which is like what these are made of we have polystyrene which is like foam we have uh low density polyethylene things like this we also have things like these tea um these tea bags which this is plastic on the outside but look it also has aluminum on the inside i don't know if you can see that but there's aluminum on it's lined with aluminum or aluminum lined with plastic so when this reaction is complete we're going to have aluminum to harvest a eh? i'll take it so anyway i was doing this because i wanted to show you guys there really is no limit with pyrolysis it's not nothing like, con like conventional recycling it's nothing like a fire you really have no limit now there are a couple types of plastic that i'm not putting in there right now not yet because they do release some types of products which can be toxic if not handled properly and that is pete or pet and pvc now pvc is what you know those standard white pipes they use for like building homes plumbing blah 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 pet or pete polyethyl terephthalate also, PETE is also um, things like, you know, like containers like that. Um, any type of clamshell packaging. You know those packages are really tough plastic. That's PETE. These are like, this is like things that they have raspberries in. That, it's that as well. That produces some type of toxin. A specific type that we can get out with a catalyst and filters. I just, right now, I don't want to worry about having to handle that. It's a closed loop. You can use the things you get to do even more things, and then it just keeps going and going and going because we're not we're tapping into the energy of Earth with this, right? Earth turned already pyrolysized this stuff. That's how oil was formed in the first place, and natural gas pockets are forming. She's been doing this for millions of years. We're just tapping into that and speeding it up, okay? So if we're tapping into the way how Earth does things, then we're gonna get all the products that Earth has, and as we see, Earth is an infinite product creator all right so we got some changes to the system first of all first change you can see is i have adopted what some of the commenters have told me i'm so grateful for the tips i was given and for the advice that actually some of you guys have given me um and that's actually one of my biggest incentives for even starting this youtube channel to get advice from other people you know sometimes you get stuck in your own perspective you can't see but basically it's recommended to me to flip where the the lag burt condenser is right so instead of it being on this side where it was before the gases go up it it's on this side the gases go down it and then also instead of having the water bubbler right under it it's just a simple collection container under it so the idea is by the time the oils go all the way up here or the gases go all the way through up all this, they're going to be cool enough to condense into oil and they'll collect down there. And the rest of this system, uh, this is the water bubbler here, the second one. And from the water bubbler, it just goes into here. And on this one, I just added a little balloon nozzle on top. So that way, you know, I can collect the gases. And it also helps me see... If there are any significant leaks because when i pump the argon in if the balloon doesn't you know get full or start to fill up a little bit that means that it's leaking out somewhere you know and not going through the path of least resistance which should always be all of this <laughs> pretty least resistant right so anyway um also the the commenter mentions I should use ice cold water in the pump and I have been doing that the whole time I would definitely be sure to use it this time <laughs> so pretty much we're just gonna run this and see if it works so yeah all right so we finished running it and I wanted to show you so you can see it works pretty well um, without the inside of the bricks absolute carbonization as you can see but I wanted to show you that under that under that powder is this a whole layer <laughs> of um leftover plastic that did not get carbonized 
Now, this doesn't surprise me at all. In fact, I was kind of expecting this to happen. Because, um, as the, you know, microwaves, they come from the top of this reactor. So, as they come down from the top, the plastic nearest to the microwaves gets heated. Eventually, it breaks down and becomes carbon. And when that happens, that carbon, that plastic becomes... It's a very, very good microwave absorber. So it's absorbing all the microwaves up on here. Pretend like there's a top layer, right? And since all the microwaves are being absorbed up here, and since heat travels up, not down, the chances of this plastic under here at the very bottom getting heated is statistically insignificant. It's a pretty easy way to fix it in theory. You need just some type of movement, you know. Think about microwaves in your house. Your microwave oven it has a turntable, so you know, there's no hot spots that form. Um, and with this little small research level reactor, for me, it's as simple as just turning this thing over and putting it in the reactor this way. And then this is going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still get a good carbon yield out of this reactor. As you see, I just keep pouring this on um, from the reactor itself. So it, it definitely does carbonize the plastics very well, where it carbonizes it very well. But, you know, when it doesn't, it doesn't. That's all right. Let's see if we got any oil up in here. Check this for Oh, did you see that? Okay, and look, this is just that first shake. This wasn't even going through the condenser yet. So now we need to take this off. Start doing that now. And see, we have oil in this main collection flask here. You saw we did have some oil there. Not that much, considering how much plastic we put in there. But there's some factors to that that I'll go into in a second. Let's check this second this collection chamber uh, not much in there there's a really really thin layer. it looks more like a wax in the oil in there you can't see it but we did have some here and that's a that's you know hey a success is a success now I now what I wanted to go into is remember I load this reactor here with a large assortment of plastic I put polystyrene, polypropylene, low density polyethylene, all types of plastics in there, right? Different types of plastics give you different types of yields. So stuff like polystyrene, which is like styrofoam or plastic utensils or takeout trays, they're known for giving good oil yields. Plastic bags, like you see what I got in there now, I haven't done much research, but I think they give you more gas than oil, which would make sense. So it really wasn't that good of an experiment because in the past, when I would try to get oil, I would only use LDPE, low density polyethylene, because that's all I would have in there. This time I used not only polystyrene, but also polypropylene too, which is like water bottle caps. That's known for giving good oil yields as well. Now, despite that, I still didn't get any good oil yield. I just got some oil. So I'm going to run this with just low density polyethylene see what I get from that and then we're gonna try out this other um, suggestion from another commenter um, he said I should basically see how I have this coming out the side I should basically just have all this stuff come out the top and then there's a lot of other things he mentioned too that I don't remember right now but we're gonna do that in the next video after we run this LDPE and see how that serves us but I mean we did get some oil so, you know, I'm not completely upset at all because something is better than nothing and that means that we're closer, you know. I don't care how long it takes as long as I'm just getting closer and closer, you know. As long as I'm not just stuck or stagnated, then I'm fine with, you know, taking my time with these things. Right, we got LDPE in here and guess what? Watch. Wait. Here we go. Ah. Oh, look at that. It's oil. Now, actually, it's almost doing too much because the oil is starting to seep out. I need to seal all of these with this yellow tape, this Teflon tape, because look at this. Dude, I don't know what we did different. I don't know what changed, but now I'm getting more oil than the system can handle. Now i got to clean all these up and then put the tape around them. So, I, I mean, look, there's oil down here, so that means that there has to be some oil in there as well. You want to check? Let's check. Let's see how this oil looks though. So as you see, it's well, it's pretty viscous, you know. It's, 
Yeah, the whole point of the oil is not that it's going to be clean oil, but it, it's that we're going to get the oil. So let's actually take this off here and see what the oil looks like on the inside of I guess you can't really see. I can't see either. And not much. There's some, a really small amount. So most of the oil is collected here, but what's weird is we can clearly see that oil is forming up here. Because, I mean, look at it. Why is it not getting all the way down here? Who knows? That's another problem for another time. I'm just happy that we're getting oil. So I do want to mention an issue with this reactor, and that is, you see this here? This is the um, the mica sheet. Though so it may all look the same, this right here is not metal. This is a crystalline mineral. It's called made of mica, um, and it since it's not a metal. It is high temperature resistant and corrosive resistant, but it does not reflect microwaves. It lets them through. So it's pretty much the perfect material to let microwaves into the reactor, but no gases out through that hole there, right? But the issue is, since it's not metal, I can't weld it or anything. So what happens is I have to use some type of chemical bond between it and the metal. So I've tried all types of things. I've tried RTV silicone, high heat silicone, latex, um, that the um, gasket cement, um, just all types of stuff. JB Weld, 2400 degree JB Weld, even on this, that gets rock solid when it's done. And what happens is things like silicone and this latex that I have on there now, after a couple runs, they'll be fine, but eventually they just peel off completely, right? They peel off from the metal. They usually stay on the mica, but they peel off from the metal, which maybe I need to clean it better or something before I put it on there or sand it. And then for things like the JB Well, which once again was rated for 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, what is that? That's about like 1,000 degrees centigrade. Um, it just ended up flaking off and just absolute mechanical and chemical failure of that. So that's how I know that it's not the fact of it being heat. It's the fact of microwaves because I promise you this one point will never reach 2,000 degrees because there's tons of plastic that, that energy needs to absorb into. But the microwaves themselves are like getting in there and they're just breaking apart whatever I put on there. No matter what it is because it's all organic to some degree, right? And they, the microwaves just tear up those organic bonds. Um, so if you guys have any idea of something I can try, maybe I can mix things together, just let me know because I've been still trying to figure out the perfect material to use for this since day one, you know. <laughs> it's it's tough to figure out, really. I, I, this is one of my favorite parts of this reactor. Um, look at this here. We got the balloon filled up. I love doing this. Just, you know, you, you gotta love it. You gotta love it, my friends. Look at that. <laughs> like I said, I cannot wait to get a proper system to compress this.